That's how bakers hold stuff. You're not doing that. Hello and welcome back to Home Plate, the baseball-based cookery show where I go head-to-head -head against a special guest each week to make the most outrageous baseball-style food. I'm Willie, this is Selassie, star of the Bake Off. Selassie, how are you? I'm great, thanks for having me. That's, how are you? I'm, I'm great, but I am a little bit worried how because come? you're a star baker and I can't bake. Anything that's sort of baking I find quite difficult, so I'm in trouble. So as I said, it is dessert week, and we're going to get some inspiration today from the Colorado Rockies. All right, excited. Hi, I'm Chef Michael Seglinetti. I'm the executive chef of Coors Field. I made some amazing desserts today, kind of one uh, ode to the ballpark. This is a root beer float with caramel corn, bourbon bacon ice cream, and a couple of couchements we do around the ballpark. And then this is a cornmeal polenta cake. These are going to be two new fan favorites I'm going to have up here. Uh, they're going to start selling later this year, and we're just excited to do them. Well, Selassie, I don't know about you, but I feel incredibly inspired after watching that, and there is a game starting soon, so it's time for us to whip up some sweet treats. The rules are incredibly simple. Make it tasty, make it outrageous. Who wins? Do and shydest! In the comments section down below, you decide. Let's go. Let's do this. What are you making? I'm making apple turnover tower, so I'll be cooking some apples, then I'll be filling into puff pastries, seal it, we'll brush it, we'll score it, then we'll bake it for 15 to 18 minutes. I need to work really quickly because it will apple, start Apple, spicy apple, some nutmeg, some lemon cinnamon, lemon, lemon juice, juice and puff pastry. Yeah. And then once it's done, we're going to stack it and then have some custard with it. That sounds delicious. I'm doing an eaten mess. Okay. Good. <laughs> So, uh, Selassie, you were on the Great British Bake Off, obviously. Yes, I was. Yes. And when Paul Hollywood looks at you and you look back at him, he stares into your eyes, can he really read your mind? Um, I think he tries to, but mm. no, I don't think he can. You're stronger. Yeah. You're stronger yeah. than him, yeah. Do you think you'd win in a fight? <laughs> if it came to it? Probably. Yeah. And I'm assuming there's apples in what you're doing. Definitely apples. I'm just peeling them because we don't need the skin. We need about three apples here. Yeah? So I'm going to cool. try and quickly work. Right, so I am just about to make some sort of strawberry caramelized coolie jam thing. Uh, obviously, I don't really know where so I'm going. Jam. I'm making something with strawberries. Um, but I wanted to ask you, I've got a 2-2 in film and television. You've got a degree in Swiss chocolate. Yes, I do. Yeah, 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 yeah. a uh, distinction I hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. Um, this was in 2018. I graduated, so it was, it was pretty fun. I worked with chocolate, pastry, and just different things, really. So Beautiful. Um, what chocolate am I thinking of right now? Milk chocolate. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm thinking of dark chocolate. So. <laughs> that was an Got easy you there, question. didn't I, Salassi? Yeah. That was an easy one. Right, do I touch this now? Why am I asking? I'm going to lose this. No, just stir it. Okay, cool. Um, and then lemon. This is wholesome. There we go. Um, but I wanted to ask, what did you actually have to do for your dissertation? So I basically made uh, one of the famous mountains in Lutzen called Pilatus. Mm -hmm. Then on the lake, uh, the chocolate lake, I made a swan. With you made a chocolate swan? Yeah. God so I basically got a, a battery operated sort of mini turntable, which I hid inside. Was that also lake. made of chocolate? No. No, I bought that from Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you're making? I'm making my custard now. So I've got double cream, I've got milk, I've got some sugar, I've got some vanilla and egg yolks, which I'm basically going to cook on slow heat. My jammy business is pretty much ready and I'm going to pop it in here because it needs to cool down before it gets stirred through the whipped cream because you've just told me that because I didn't previously know that. Because uh, if it was hot, it would split the cream? Yeah. It would split well, the cream? Yeah, it would melt the cream. So yeah. It would melt the cream. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Right, uh, so I'm going to whip my cream now. Um, Hold up, I'm using a machine. Yes? Why? Because I don't want to get an achy hand. It's very easy, you just need one of these. But, oh, 
But I don't give you a wuss. Come on. Well, there's only one whisk, so you can have this. I'll wash this for you. Oh. Yeah, I'm pretty done. If I can ask you to just oh, right. keep staring this for me, and I'll wash this for you, okay? Thanks, Selassie. <laughs> See? That's getting thick already. It's kind of getting thick already. Yeah, exactly. I thought this was going to be way harder. That's probably because mm. I've only ever tried to whip single cream. <laughs> yeah, look. That's how bakers hold stuff. You're not doing that. And then we'll do the second one. Do you want me to do a little circle? Yeah, the rim. Yeah. Okay. Make sure it doesn't drip over because it will affect the layers. If you don't mind, you can pour the custard in there for me. Thank you. Okay. You see, I've been given so much responsibility here, I could ruin this entire dessert. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, this is this is my first custard rodeo. Go. Now I've given you custard assistance. Uh, it's probably time that I distract you. Do you like games? I love games. Okay, well we're going to play a thing or a miss. Yes. Selassie, are you ready? I was born ready. You were born ready, and this is probably going to be quite distracting. A thing or a miss. Field of creams. Miss. Correct. Uh, Big Pappy. Sounds like a thing. <laughs> it could be a thing. It is a thing. You're right. Okay, awesome. that's two out of five so far. Stephen Gateau. Relevant because puddings. Miss. It is a miss. Hmm. Have you read these? No. Nope. Okay. A Louisiana Shiner. Thin. <laughs> Idiot. It's a miss. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, no perfect score today. Okay, and this is the last one. Are you ready? Yeah. Pressure's on. A cup of toasted grasshoppers. Din. Four out of five is not bad. That was a thing or a miss with Selassie. Okay, so I've got a puff pastry disc here, and then you're just going to carefully push that just to seal it. Um, okay, so I now need to bake these, so okay. let's do this. Let's get baked. So I've got a lot of stuff going on here, mm -hmm. but I just noticed that you've literally just chopped some berries, I have some cream, and yep. made some jam. Yes. You didn't even make your jam. No, so. I didn't, but they are from Cornwall. No, they're not. No, they are. I went down on my bike. No, you didn't. It took me, it took me ages. <laughs> I'm going to stir some jam through this, all right? Okay. Give it a little bit of colour, a little bit of tangy bit, a little raspberry seed bites. I'm okay. going to put a little bit of fresh stuff, a little bit of fresh strawberries and raspberries, crushed meringue. We'll have a bit of that, then we're going to have some ice cream. Did you make your ice cream? Oh, yeah, I made my own ice cream. How'd you make ice cream? I just made it with the freezer. <laughs> you have five minutes remaining. Okay. Oh, I should, I should probably you do need to something crack on now. That. Yeah. Take your time, mate. Yeah. Perfection does take a while. I think points should be deducted because he's just adding cream to raspberries. Hasn't made anything from scratch. It's if you, just if you, the if longest you, time right. piling it up I'm just going to say. Right, so uh, that's that. I think they're both looking, what? Can I just say though, this one looks great, but also, if you're looking for something authentic, something convenient, something that's hassle-free when you go to a baseball game, mm. last thing you want is cream, ice cream mm. melting all over your beautiful jersey. Mm. Or if you're like me and you want to order something big and extravagant that everyone looks at and says, oh, I want one of that, oh, that's nice like that, uh, then you'd probably go for something like this. Um, but yeah, no, yours looks boring and this looks, you know. Exciting but lacks. All right, look. Uh, joie de vivre. Oh, yeah, look. Yeah. You and your French. Should we go with this one first? Yeah, let's try it. Save them. Yeah. Probably best till last. It's a big eating mess and it's delicious. It's delicious. It's so delicious. It's, it's actually good. It looks great. My problem is. I didn't make my meringues. You, you didn't make anything. I made jam. Sweet, okay. There you go. And you can just use the spoon. Oh, bloody hell. 
I mean, you know how you said it was really easy <laughs> and like really convenient to eat at the baseball game? I'm using a spoon. It's nice. It's not too sweet. Perfect. I like uh, really sweet. Obviously, in this case, you're eating with your eyes. So you're going to have to vote for the winner. And if you're eating with your eyes, I can tell you now, this is the one for you. It's down to you at home. You decide. Vote in the comments. So Lassie, thanks for being here. It's been fun. We've made mostly a mess. Uh, but there's a game on now. So I think, really, it's time to uh, pop that on. And thanks for joining us this week on Home Plate. Thank you.